My name is Luis Santana. I'm a photographer, analog photographer, documentary and street photographer. And overall, I'm just someone who enjoys great experiences at the end of the day. So I'm currently working on a cyanotype quilt, which encompasses uh, shots throughout 2020 and now some of 2021 that I'm putting together through this alternative process through a different medium that I am not used to seeing my work and visually um, just having something compelling that you know speaks for itself that stands out and that's really captivating. I was born in Lower East Side and I'm currently living in Brooklyn, New York, Bed-Stuy specifically. I've been an artist for around like roughly I'd say I picked up a camera like ninth grade. Yeah. Um, I'd say roughly like 13 years I've been shooting professionally, maybe more like five, four years. Growing up, I wasn't actually the creative one. My brother was more so the one who aspired uh, to not only draw, to do graffiti, to skate, to play guitar. He was actually a, a huge inspiration, which then we both looked up to our father in that sense. Um, when it came to creativity, because he was a still life photographer. It does leave a weird stain at first, but it's just because it's damp. Kind of just let it hang out here for a little bit. This whole process is definitely very time consuming though, but really, really worth it to see the results at the end. So I initially start with a transparency and then I figure out the material I'm using and I size that, whether I want to border, full bleed. And then from there, it's a two part chemical, A and B. You mix them, both even ratios, one to one. You mix those, you apply them however you want to. It could be a paintbrush, it could be a sponge brush, it could be by hand, you could add some texture patterns to it. You let it sit dry for a bit. And then you kind of gauge your exposure of time by just kind of doing it. Five hours later, you kind of have somewhat of a, a print and then you have to rinse it. A uh, piece that I'm working with is 30 by 45 inches. So I have to use a hose to hose it down, make sure the chemicals kind of wash away fully, then dry overnight, uh, especially for a big piece of canvas like that. And then see the end results. Um, and that's kind of only the beginning, you know? I definitely see creating more as like an expression where I could process what I'm going through. I feel like it definitely is something that it's methodical enough where I can step outside of my headspace or whatever I'm going through in those moments and I can really take time to tread and to understand all that I'm feeling without focusing on it deliberately. I started off with shooting graffiti writers as I was once one. Um, to then going through abandoned buildings and doing urban exploring, as they say, um, which led then to street photography, which then led to um, travel photography, which then led to now more of my portrait uh, stage or street portraits or more contrived and stylized ones. I'm just learning. I think I'm getting closer to learning about myself through this, this path. Intuition, man, it's so keen and it's very important to listen to it. Things happen for a reason, you know, and you're in a certain place at a certain time to connect with certain aspects of yourself. I think it's so powerful uh, to resonate with something that you just don't know is in front of you until you apply yourself and you understand, you see a, a, a fourth dimension, so to speak. You know, your third eye opens up, you see something past what you thought you saw. And that's so sick. And intuition has been something I've continuously followed, you know. And I think when you come at it with a very pure and honest approach, you're able to transcend something um, far beyond yourself. So my everyday camera is my Rolleiflex. It's a square format, 6x6. Um, and I love shooting with it because it's light, it's compact. You know, having 12 shots, I think, you know, certain limitations help you define and fine tune your perspective and what you're attracted to. So, you know, I'm connecting myself closer to the things I want to be attracted towards when I'm shooting with my camera because I'm being more intentional about it. I tell my younger version to chill out. Like, <laughs> I tell my future self I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying very hard to do everything that I want to do. 
I don't know, this process speaks for itself. Uh, I'm not trying to be philosophical about it at all, but it, uh, it, it's its own thing. It's its own entity. It's its own uh, organic uh, existence that now has entered my life that now I'm understanding more. Buy my art, luis-santana.com. Go get that shit. Sanotypes, prints, books, this, get it. <laughs>